Hey girls, welcome back to Decluttering with a non minimalist I'm Lacey, and I'm here to offer another tip for decluttering when you are technically not a minimalist like some of the other fortunate type A ladies are. So I myself am not a minimalist, and so I wanted to share a few things that have worked for me. The, today's lesson is bins are your friend. So I've picked up several different shapes and sizes to work in different places of my house, and so I want you to think about um, not cultivating your clutter and adding more containers to your life just to hold things, um, but to organize all of the things that you really do need and use and want and cherish. So um, what I mean by bins are anything like this. This was $3 at Walmart. Um, I've just stocked up on some of these wire baskets to redo my pantry, and um, they have all different sizes. These are also from Walmart, and I've actually found some from the Dollar Store, the Dollar Tree, um, Big Lots, all kinds of um, inexpensive places where you can stock up, and if you want to organize a room or a closet, it really won't cost you that much money. Um, so, bins are your friend. Think about your linen closet, for example. Um, what does it look like? And how does it make you feel when you open the door? Um, do you have things organized by size of sheets or type of linens, blanket sheets, pillowcases, extra throw pillows, things like that? Um, thankfully, mine's not too out of hand. I have to credit my husband for that, though. I know that sounds crazy, but he is excellent at... Um, making sure things stay orderly. I love him for that. Um, however, I'm not that type A. And so what my plan is for these type of bins is to organize um, these by sheets that belong on our bed, sheets that belong on the guest bed, um, crib sheets, any other size of pillowcases, um, throw blankets, things like that, where I can mark it on the outside and I know exactly where they are. Sometimes we... Um, it gets a little overloaded in there, and some sheets are the same colors, and so they start looking like each other. Um, in, addition, in addition to your linen closet, think about your junk drawers, your pantry, um, your makeup drawers, your underneath your bathroom sink, um, any uh, utensil drawers, or anything throughout your house where you store things that you use pretty regularly. Think about how you can separate those out um, put them into a bin, put them into a basket, put them into a tray, um, organize them, categorize them, and um, make it to where when you open the door or open the drawer, it's easy to find and it doesn't just overwhelm you. Um, in doing that, you will naturally probably be able to throw some things out too, to sort through uh, your junk drawer and say, okay, we don't need 10 million ink pens in here. You know, I need a couple that I can use. Um, so in doing that, it's kind of a decluttering process in and of itself. Um, I organize in bins because I like having things. And um, I have extra cloth napkins, for example. Um, do I use them regularly? No. But I am one of those people that um, I like having them. And I, one of these days, I'm going to have this big, nice butler pantry and just any uh, dinner party theme that I want to throw, I'm going to have it in there. So that's just me. I am a non-minimalist and bins are my friend. So I hope that helps you. Thanks, friends. So I wanted to add just a couple examples of how I implement bins and baskets and trays into my own home. I keep my utensils in my kitchen in separate trays like this so I don't have to rummage through to find what I want. Um, I also keep small pieces in plastic drawers in the pantry. That way they don't fall through the cracks of baskets and they're not rolling around in drawers just loosely. Um, I've also reorganized my pantry, like I mentioned, with those wire baskets. And I just pop a tab on there and I know what's in what basket. Um, I'm really loving that idea. And also these multi-purpose organizational bins uh, that you can use for your linens or in your own closet like I use. I really love those. And I hope that that is something that you can take and implement into your own home. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.